damage from that. All right, let's bring it into the pits. Yeah, definitely some damage. All right, let's bring it into the pits. We've got a fast repair, so we'll be all right. Let's see if we can recover some ground again. Oh no, it's... Oh, I forgot to turn off tires and fuel. Ah! So by default at the start of a race, what a lot of people will do is go across to their tire panel, switch off tire replacement, and then go across to their fueling panel and switch off begin fueling. But you can see there, I've just missed the start of my race. That's another thing that you've got to stress about at the start of a race as well. Normally you get a bit more time on the grid in a normal race than you do on a AI race like this one. But today's video, I'm gonna show you a quick little change that you can make to the app.ini file, which sets everything up by default so you don't have to stress about this at the start of the race. So let's jump across to the desktop now. I'll show you how to do it. So what we're gonna do is navigate to our documents folder on the PC. We're gonna go into iRacing, and then we're just gonna double click on our app.ini file. So we'll double click on that. Then we're going to scroll down to about three quarters of the way down. We should see a little title here. We're going too far there. Pit service, there it is. So these are the lines that we're gonna edit. And you can see here, we've got auto reset fast repair. So that is set to one, one being on, zero being off, binary. So we set auto fast repair to one and that allows us to make sure that we always use a fast repair if one is available. And then auto reset pit box, that is currently set to one. What I'm gonna do is set that to zero. And you can see here it says automatically request full pit service once your vehicle exits the pit road. So what that's gonna do is it's gonna leave off tire replacement and fuel adding by default when you start a race. Now, if you are doing a race where you know you're gonna to have to do a pit stop for fuel or tires, then you wouldn't wanna have this changed. You wanna leave that to one so that it does do it by default. But for the shorter races, what I like to do is set this to zero. And that way we know that we're not gonna to have to worry about replacing tires or fuel by accident if we do come in for a fast repair at the start of the race. So once you've done that, control S to save, close it off again. And now we can see no fuel and no tires and we're good to hopefully win the race without having to stress about it. So hopefully this quick little video has helped you guys out. If it has, please do leave a thumbs up and let us know in the comments if you have any other little quick tips like this that will help out the community. So thank you very much for watching. We'll see you again soon. Bye.